and Afi Unibank Ghana Limited. You make me new ego. Now, I'm paying for a democratic record. I'm not sure if you're for so much. 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 I'm not sure if you're for so and I write honorable a bank is for Babin or oh, no, I speak of parliament. I shall say, yet ever you could be not a bank who do mean no, yet you show me the year pot into a bank in the green or more for home and some and between any. The speaker, this one is order 76. Uh, one, I lay at the table a petition on behalf of Dr. Corbina Ifo, who used to be a shareholder of the Defense Unibank Ghana Limited. Petition of Mr. Prince Kupiao Mabe that Parliament one investigate the conduct of the Bank of Ghana and the Ghana Stock Exchange for the revocation of OT Bank's license and delisting the bank without due regard to the rules of administrative justice guaranteed under Article 23 of the 1992 Constitution. What the Honorable Member opted to do is to go under 76 1, where the petition is brought to the table by the Commission of the Speaker. He has not made a motion. So we get rid it. I will now proceed to tell the House how are we going to handle the petition? We set up a committee to go through it and report to the House. Then a motion will be made and then the consideration will then be made from them. But now a citizen has a concern, and the citizen thinks that he should petition parliament, and that is what the citizen has done. And so, when by our rules a citizen is to petition parliament, it must be done through a member of parliament. You will disagree with the position that I took. I'm a social register, but I disagree with the position that you have taken. But I believe that this is subjective. That is my position. And you have made a statement to the effect that it must be fair to the committee to make some proposals. So perhaps we will leave it at that. But I disagree with the position that you have taken. When you disagree with Mr. Speaker, you know the right thing to do. I don't want to assume powers I don't have by the reading of the standing orders and the constitution. I don't have those powers to be disallowing petitions just because I have the discretion to admit or not to admit. I must be guided by law. Budgets are buying.